you already mentioned that you uh, have experience with C++ before, and I was curious. C sharp is pretty similar to <laughs> yeah. C sharp is pretty similar to Java, and in our community in Android um, development, we are mainly active. People tend to uh, dislike Java now because it was replaced for a more modern language. I was curious, what do you like and what do you dislike about C sharp? I like C sharp because it's re it's it's one of the more readable languages when you when you you know write your own code, um, and you know, it's closer to human than it is to machine, right? Like that's kind of the scale that you're always measuring. Is it super low level and you have to really be super specific and it's not grammatically correct when you write it, that's a very low level. C sharp's in the middle to high, you know, it's it's easy to understand when you're reading it if the variable names are good. Like it all depends on who's writing the code. But um yeah, I I don't really have any complaints about C sharp, honestly. The I like that they keep getting they keep trying to not only simplify the syntax but to make it more human readable, which is great. Like each new edition that comes or each new version that comes out, you do see uh, the language evolving to be more readable, which is you know in my mind really great. Like that's why I love Swift because it's almost grammatically correct when you write it. Um, and that, I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into that, so you can't really change. You can't expect older, more established languages to sort of make that change. But yeah, C sharp, I think C sharp and well, maybe Python are really good languages to start in. And how does memory management work in C sharp? Is it like in Java where there's this automatic garbage collection or do yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So you can, you can absolutely manage your own stack if you want. Um, but yeah, everything happens automatically if you're not, you know, if you're not kind of digging through that, which is why it's uh, one of the reasons why I like suggesting it as a first programming language. 